this is little Darla. She's a little French bulldog who came into us at about six to seven weeks of age. So really um, young. Very, very young. Far too young to, uh, to have left her mother. Uh, now in quarantine kennels in Essex, this puppy was bought by a family over the internet and came into the UK with fake documents. And illegal dogs like her are being stopped at our borders in increasing numbers. You can buy a puppy on the internet a lot cheaper than you can buy a puppy in this country. Uh, and the temptation's there. Two years ago, the rules surrounding pet travel were relaxed. Before 2012, people had to wait six months after rabies vaccination before their dog could come into the country. Now they only have to wait 21 days. It's led to a dramatic increase in the number of dogs entering the UK and imports are up more than 75%. But it's also thought to have led to a rise in the number of illegal dogs coming in. In 2011, before the change in the law, 96 dogs were stopped illegally entering the country. Last year, that more than tripled to 376. Now, with an up-to-date pet passport, dogs as young as 15 weeks old can come into the UK legally. But many say the law change has led to an increase in the black market in puppies. It's easier to forge documents and fake the dog's age. Wendy Parkins bought her puppy, Herbie, online. He'd come from Hungary, but when she took him to the vet concerned about his health, she was told he was illegal. This is his passport, fake and illegal, that we thought was genuine. Um, and as you can see in it, um, for example, this page, the rabies, we've got the stickers, even the hologram, the stamp, it's all fake. Herbie died from an infection. Wendy's family had had him less than a week. That poor dog, he was a lovely, lovely little thing and to not even give him a decent chance. It's just heartbreaking and these people need to be stopped and they need to be punished. Illegal dogs are stopped at ports like Dover almost every day. But those numbers are thought to be small compared to the numbers getting through. We have huge concerns that, yes, we're actually dealing with the tip of the iceberg in terms of the official figures. Um, we're seeing these challenges time and time and time again um, with inappropriate paperwork. Um, and you know, obviously the concern is that, that we are potentially bringing disease into the country. Boy. Now Public Health England says it will review whether people like vets should be given rabies vaccines, a protection for staff on the front line of the illegal puppy trade.